The heart is an incredible organ, tirelessly pumping life throughout our bodies. But did you know that the lining of the heart, called the endocardium, can become infected? That's endocarditis. Endocarditis is typically caused by bacteria, such as streptococcus or staphylococcus, that enter our bloodstream and latch onto the heart's lining. But how does this happen? Hello folks, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss endocarditis, a condition that affects the heart and demands our attention. Let's start with the pathophysiology. The heart's inner lining, called the endocardium, is a vital component in maintaining proper cardiac function. However, it can become vulnerable to an invisible enemy, microorganisms. Endocarditis begins when bacteria, fungi, or other microorganisms gain access to the bloodstream. They hitch a ride through various entry points, such as dental procedures, skin infections, or invasive medical devices. When the microorganisms encounter areas of damaged or abnormal endocardium, they initiate a deadly dance. Adhering to these vulnerable surfaces, they form masses known as vegetations, composed of a mix of pathogens, fibrin, platelets, and immune cells. As the battle intensifies, our immune system springs into action. Inflammatory cells, like neutrophils and monocytes, rush to the scene. They release powerful chemical signals called cytokines, sparking an inflammatory storm. With time, the relentless inflammation takes its toll. The vegetations grow larger, invading the delicate heart valves. This can lead to valvular destruction, compromising their function, and disrupting the heart's normal flow dynamics. But the battle doesn't end there. Fragments of the infected vegetation can break loose, becoming silent intruders known as emboli. These emboli can journey through the bloodstream, reaching distant organs and causing blockages. Endocarditis can wreak havoc on the cardiovascular system, leading to heart failure, arrhythmias, septicemia, and abscess formation. It's a battle that demands our attention and swift action. Endocarditis often presents with a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, fever, unexplained weight loss, joint pain, and changes in the skin, such as small reddish spots called patechia. If you or a loved one experience any of these signs, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. When endocarditis is suspected, a comprehensive diagnostic journey begins. It involves a collaboration between healthcare professionals, advanced imaging techniques, and laboratory tests. Blood tests, including blood cultures, play a crucial role in diagnosing endocarditis. They help identify the specific microorganism causing the infection and guide the selection of appropriate antibiotics. They can reveal important markers of infection, such as an elevated white blood cell count, increased inflammatory markers, and the presence of specific antibodies or antigens. Advanced imaging techniques, such as echocardiography and transesophageal echocardiography, provide detailed images of the heart's structure and function. They help identify the presence of vegetations, valve, abnormalities, and any complications arising from endocarditis. Treating endocarditis involves a combination of antibiotics and, in some cases, surgical interventions. Antibiotics are administered intravenously to combat the infection and prevent further damage to the heart. In severe cases, Surgical interventions may be necessary to repair or replace damaged heart valves, remove infected tissue, or drain abscesses. These procedures are performed by skilled cardiothoracic surgeons. Triumph over endocarditis requires ongoing care and vigilance, regular follow-up visits, adherence to medications, and lifestyle modifications are crucial to prevent recurrence and maintain heart health. Endocarditis is a formidable opponent. But with early detection, a skilled medical team, and a fighting spirit, victory is possible because health is worth fighting for.